we're talking about a marine industry with 4,000 companies, almost all of which are small, and then half a dozen really big players. But look at what we've got on this stand. All the components here are going on to the big boats produced by the fair lines of this world. But do we have a supply chain in the UK that links the OEMs, the big boys, with the range of the companies making the covers, making the davits, making all the aspects, the windows of a modern boat? When I've been going around the big boats in this show, it's actually those features that the customer's interested in. The fittings in the bedrooms, the shower, the amount of window space, the quality of the flooring. And so the supply chain of this industry is the bedrock of why we can sell big million pound plus yachts to high wealth consumers in different parts of the world from our traditional markets because they want to buy British brands. But they want to buy British brands because of the strength of the supply chain. That's what's so fabulous about the dozen companies or so on this stand here today. Well, we all know that it's a very, very tough global economic situation, but the UK leisure marine sector turns over about 2.9 billion per year, 37% of, of that is exported, and we employ 31,000 people, so exports are a very important part of our industry. UK boats and marine equipment have a worldwide reputation for good quality, good design and innovation, and that's seeing our industry succeed in global export markets. It's an exciting industry, it's a very nice industry. As you look around, you know, it's a very glitzy industry, but please don't get carried away with that. That's the image we like to portray, but underneath that, it's a very hard-working industry. Lots of devoted people, many, many people like myself have spent a lifetime in this industry, not only in the UK, but on a global scale. Lots of us travel, lots of us put a lot of our time into the exporting, which is hugely important. I think my colleague talked earlier about over 30%, 37% in fact of our output is exported. It's important to us and a lot of us have contributed hugely to that over many, many years. And uh, it's a great industry to help with. And we are an important industry within the UK sector. We are a success story. Some of our companies are exporting in excess of 90% of their output. So it's, it's serious business. The challenges we've faced over the last period are the same as everybody. Um, the European market's been very weak. We're now looking to obviously expand uh, globally um, and that presents its own challenges both technically and from a marketing perspective. Um, my personal challenge has been from an engineering perspective where it's about making boats that work in places where there may not be a decent service network for example um, and also getting the product out to a market that doesn't necessarily understand boating in the way that we traditionally see it. There are brilliant British engineers, we have um, a lot of engineers that work in the company, uh, we spend a lot of money on R&D, um, innovation in what we do, bringing new products to market, bringing new features to market is actually the lifeblood of it and we have that bandwidth within the company um, with our engineers and with our product managers as well um, who go out and talk to customers. All of us are very interested in, in what we do and very interested in our customers, our end users who are actually going to be using the equipment. And that's, I think, is what helps to make us creative because we listen to what they like. We try and bring some new things in that perhaps they hadn't thought of or thought, oh, that's an interesting thing to do that. And then we try and build it, make it, create it, and then obviously get that out into the market so that people can use it. Well, I think that um, a lot of people um, respect the UK tradition for craftsmanship and such like, and we're certainly enormously proud of the, uh, the, the skills uh, of the team who, who, who build our boats. Uh, but it, it's interesting how often you'll, um, you'll meet a, an owner from anywhere in the world who's got some story to tell about a, a Jaguar that they had when, when they were much younger or some other bit of British iconic uh, manufacturing. Um, but I think also there's a realization that uh, f for a, a British person to go cruising, first of all, they've got to head through the Bay of Biscay, across the Atlantic, etc., etc. So we need to build boats that are pretty solid in the first place. And many of our boats are used for circumnavigations and such like. So the strength of what we produce is, uh, is very well recognized worldwide.